when she says you're just friends but didn't bring any money. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Be friendly with that wallet. Enjoy that burger, my friend. She does not look happy. <laughs> So even when we're getting friend zoned, we've still got to pay. I thought that was if we were dating or in a relationship. Nah. Now guy friends have got to pay as well. Exactly. I'm it's not just a joking. Thing to do. I have asked the last three dudes I've dated for their bank account info on the first date. I don't judge people's actions. I look at the intention behind it. So like, why do you ask for that? Because I only want to date a wealthy guy that has money. Valid. So you're getting straight to the point. I think, you know, I Valid. have a job. I'm very successful. So I think I have every right to be like hi are we on the same level or where am i wasting my time Valid. what's that guy talking about what a simp man there's no excuse for that behavior if you imagine if you went on a date and the girl the first thing she says is open up your online banking i've got to see what you're working with you know if you turned it around and said i want to see what you're working with have you got a kfc bargain bucket down there <laughs> wouldn't work would it but they think it's okay to ask that I want to know if you got a KFC bargain bucket. This girl can't keep her eyes off Sam Sulik while he's posing. And Sam catch her staring at him at the end. There's really not much to see with the rear delts apart from just standing. <laughs> you know, there's no rear delt spread. <laughs> she said I think she you're good there. She said she liked what she see, man. I ain't mad I'm at done. you. Well, not yet, I actually. I need to do calves. But for the lift that's going to get clipped, we're done. So I'm going to go home, eat some, probably some ground beef coupled with some pepper jack cheese slices. Mm. I prefer fat-free cheese. Shout out to Sam Sugo, man. That guy is a flipping beast. And if you don't know who he is, you must be living under a rock. He's like taking the internet and YouTube by storm. I'm not going to lie. I'm a big fan of Sam. I watch his videos all the time. Definitely helps with the gym. And the guy is just a, a nice, genuine guy. So if you haven't watched this stuff, I highly recommend it. And if I saw Sam in the gym, I'll be looking at that guy as well. Because he okay. is built like a flipping tank. Okay. <laughs> No He's a 10, but he has an Android phone. What's his new rating? A three. That's a zero. That's horrible. It's a zero. Our pictures for Instagram are going to be terrible. It's green texts and I'm doing blue. I feel like it's a downgrade. iPhone all the way. Why are you having an Android? Go get your money up. Get out of the house. If you don't have an iPhone, you're a nerd. And I'm not doing WhatsApp either. Are you broke? Like, how can you not afford an Apple? <laughs> what are you? An idiot sandwich. Don't worry about that, love. I can afford an Apple. Sounds like you can't afford an education. It's kind of mad, isn't it? You know, it really, I've said this before, it really, really matters to them. The color of those flipping texts. I mean, the Android and the Apple phone, they cost pretty much the same and they pretty much have the same type of technology. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Who gives a sh what phone someone has? I can see if it's all in If fun. it was up to me, I didn't have YouTube and all this stuff going on, emails and whatnot. I would just have a flip phone, easy. Who is Kaden? Oh my god. Do y'all trust each other 100%? Yeah. Yeah. May we test the theory? 100%? Yeah. Y'all two swap phones? Yeah. 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 Who is Ethan? Why your friends tell me your girl? 48 days straight? Dang. You know what I'm saying? Straight. No oh, breaks. Me too. Yeah, me too. Going too crazy. Friends making out. Okay. 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 Who's that? Um, okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> somebody touched somebody's lap. Yeah. I started touching his lap. I was there. I'm on the other side. I was nervous. She, she was she was touching your friend's lap. Nervous. Yeah. So you don't want to go to either side? No. She's not there. You shaking, man? You good, man? <laughs> okay, let's go. You're going to look at the history? Me. Who is Kaden? I am in the street. Oh, who is that? Oh my god. Who is that? <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Jesus can't save these She's still laughing after all that. She nervous, She's nervous, man. She's just laughing about it. It's very common in these videos that they just think it's funny, like it's some sort of game or a joke. I swear as well, whenever they say go through Snapchat, 
that's where all the dirt is. It's always she nervous, man. I mean, you can laugh because it's funny, and then you laugh because you're in a situation to where you didn't think that you would ever be in, and now you don't know what else to do but just sit there and just try to make light of the situation. But you know you're in trouble. He's on Snapchat. I'm on a girl's trip, and my husband calls me every hour. Uh, yeah, I let the dogs out. That's good, baby. Oh. Yeah, uh, had to leave peed and pooped. Oh, that's good, baby. Talk to you in a little bit. Okay, love you. Okay, bye, baby. These times again. Hey, I'm ordering dinner. That's good, baby. Every time. Keep amping him. That's good, baby. Leave me alone, baby. She belongs to the streets. We all know that at least 50% of marriages end in divorce, and this yeah. one is no different. No different. This is Miami Heat head coach Eric Spolstra. I think he's a great head coach. Him and his wife decided to part ways back in November. But now the internet's going a little crazy because he just signed a huge mm. eight-year, $120 million contract. Mm. And, of course, his poor ex-wife Nikki is just getting obliterated on Instagram. <laughs> Man. I mean, important. what is she supposed to do here? <laughs> okay. I'm with her. I don't think she can actually win in this one. The only one who won in this whole thing was Eric Spolstra. I don't know how he convinced the front office to wait to give him a new contract, but that saved him a ton of money. <laughs> oh, yes, when we talk about the younger generation of women saying, well, we want men who make six figures and we want this because they listen to all that social media. Right, right, right. And, yeah. But I have millennials and younger that work for me and we had these discussions. And one of the discussions I had when he was like, well, I want a man who makes six figures. You know, they're like 25, 28 and things. Yeah. And I said, okay. I said, pull up labor and statistics. I said, there are barely 18% of Americans. Now, mind you, it's like $400 million, right? 18% mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of Americans that make six figures. Yeah, that's hard 18%, to come by. 18%. That's hard. 18% <laughs> that make six figures. They was like, that's it. But social media have you thinking 100% of black <laughs> yeah, the internet's really made yep. these modern women believe that if a guy isn't making 100, 200 grand a year in his 20s, he's broke. What would you do if I could? They just out there. Uh, yeah, I mean, you just, just, just pick one. Just money growing trees, just pick one. That's all you need, right? You ain't got to do no work for it. So just soft grow life, buy a dress or something from one of these cheap websites and, you know, put your best makeup on and you can, you, they're all out there for you. You can get one. They, they give them away. Just free, free. Yeah, just free. Just like a free TV. That's it. Cheat code. <laughs> like, couldn't at all. Couldn't We're eating out every time and I'm cooking. Yeah. Are you trying to learn? Could be, but what would you do? If you're willing to learn, yeah, uh, that's that's fine. But if you're not willing to learn and you never want to cook, I yeah, I'll you be go. your friend, innit? That's about that's it. That's it. Of course, I love food. Not asking a woman to whip up stuff like Gordon Ramsay, but these days, man, you'll be lucky to get flipping beans on toast, mate. Hi. Hi. <laughs> that sounds disgusting. <laughs> what mother are you from? Uh, <laughs> my mom is Nicaraguan, my dad is Saudi Arabian and Eritrean. I knew it was something. Why you got them eyelashes like that? Cause it's Christmassy. <laughs> Look, it was. They're Christmassy. He's so freaked out. No, he's so freaked. <laughs> he's freaked out by it. He's freaked out by it. Broken. <laughs> and he chose right. Man, but she. I thought they told me that men out here can't handle rejection well. They always got to say something like, oh, forget you. You ain't nothing but a this and a that. <laughs> Man. That's that's interesting. Lying to me. I take tips. Okay. Man, I take tips like a mother. She lying to me. Man, she got me stuck. Nigga, I take tips. <laughs> I get it off the floor of the dress. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind no whole family. Man, <laughs> please, this cigar money. Yeah, you talking about it. And I might go get it to another night <laughs> in the name of tipping. Because you talking about Thank you, baby. Yeah, yeah, now them eyelashes got me. Man, I don't want, man, I'm, I thought it was spiders or something. Man, Damn. them eyelashes got me. I couldn't really see them eyes. Man, she hiding them eyes, man. She motherfucker cut them ties and, man. <laughs> At this point, she paid to get rejected. Man, set the trash can on fire trying to f that pretty motherfucker. Is there nothing to improve? Like there's no room oh. for improvement? 
There's a lot to improve. Okay. <laughs> I just don't want to come up on the internet and be like, oh, like give myself less than anything than a 10 because that's like silly to me. Oh. I don't want to like come over here and like have this be broadcasted and be like, so I'm cool. a, I'm an eight. No, I'm a 10 always. Mm. We're all 10s. You guys are all beautiful. Am I a 10? I like that mindset. <laughs> yeah, Brian, you should feel like a 10. No, 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 no. Let me reword that. We should <laughs> all feel like 10s, okay? No. I'm not saying I'm a 10. I'm saying I feel like a 10. Right. Okay. Well, in a, the objective reality yeah. of what you yeah. actually are, what oh, are you? There's no objective Andrew, reality yes, of rating yourself. Yes, there that's is. silly. And you chill. That's very silly. Dude, chill. I, what do you mean, chill? I'm just saying, like, being realistic about what you are and what you can do is degrading yourself. <laughs> no, you, you got what your like, panties is, in a twist for everything that anyone said. You, I'm sorry, you say stupid stuff. I might say anything like you have a problem so, against like everything. I'm asking if you take the feeling away for how you wish you felt or whatever, what do you objectively think that you are? I don't know. That's like me walking around saying, you know, I'm six foot five. I feel like I'm six foot five, but I'm not. You know, they really associate that number with self-confidence, which I'm all for. Self-confidence, great. But I don't... You're living in delusion. That's all there is to be said about that. Live in reality. You can dress in a suit or a nice skirt, blouse, whatever you want. Still feel great about yourself without dumping on yourself, without degrading yourself. Somebody asks you... Hey, what do you think? I, mean, I think I feel pretty good. I, I feel like I'm this, this and this. I feel like I can improve on X, Y and Z. But, you know, I, I think I'm making it right. Even if you're in a bad spot, you say, well, you know, only a couple things good. But, hey, I'm getting up every day and I'm trying. You know, that's all you, hey, that's all you can do. All right, then be blessed or whatever you want to say. But to sit up here and be like, I'm a 10. <laughs> There's nobody in the world that's a 10. But that's just my opinion. Until the next video, I'm out.